I'm looking at a three minute game here. Just put a seek in. Let's see how we get on. Okay, so both developing. Didn't care too much about that move. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to castle still. Okay, bishop's a little bit empty there. We could go. I'm going to attack the bishop. I think I'm thinking too much here. And bring the knight back. Pawn wants to drop onto it. Yep. Okay, we could go there, but then we lose a pawn type thing. So we. Could always go and attack the bishop again and let's take the bishop off the board this time <coughs> okay let's put an extra well there's no extra he's moved this queen and um, might as well take that off the board um looks like we're just both going crazy now i'm going to bring the queen up okay took a nice long pause there didn't he okay so he's protecting with his knight the pawn here but he's no longer protecting it now but has he got like sub a double whammy on me let's take with the knight and he's got my rook but i suppose i can jump out of the way maybe maybe take the knight here bishop's going to do some magic and he's on my queen and keep the diagonal Got a 2 on 1. He's looking to get rid of the 2 on 1 support. Let's attack the pawn and let's attack his queen. Takes our queen, okay. Take his queen. Takes, okay. So we're both going crazy again. And bishop's out. Knight can come around. Maybe let's bring the knight back. He can have the pawn. Let's go for the bishop. Shall we take the bishop? Oh, he's got a check on my king. Okay, no problem. Let's move that back. Let's take this. And move the king up. Get a bit of support. Let's attack. So he's just moving real quick now because he's going to try and flag us. Let's go here. That's good. Bishop up. Good. And push. So we keep pushing. Is the king gonna get the pawn? Mm, let's go here. Okay, so we can take. And it's looking to try and disturb this pawn structure of ours. And if we take, then he gets a pass pawn. Mm, yeah okay no problem king can come down for it let's take so we've got quite a lot of pawns here should be able to do something with these let's push this one it's not going to get there in time for that let's go here let's push this looking for a stalemate but he's got space uh, oh he's gone right in the corner are we gonna let him out no nope. quick shifty at the analysis on that one okay so came through let's take off the self-analysis Just wait for it to work its magic. Right, let's have a look at because it was looking a little bit ugly, I think. Yeah, look at that. Why it's kind of out and out winning with that type of opening, but they have to make it work for them. Okay, so we didn't take the pawn just yet. So the, if if our bar's going up and down like crazy at the minute. So we wanted to get to safety, 
wanted to get rid of this pawn as well seeing as they didn't actually capture it or move it down so we really wanted to have space to attack their king area at the later stages so we attacked their bishop brought the knight back again oh we got a star move for that and then attacked the bishop again got a thumbs up not bad captured got a star interesting and then brought the bishop through nice little star there it's still showing a slight advantage to white but it felt like we were taking our time developing towards the king area trying to use the answer as best possible so captured let's develop the queen you can see the opponents also trying to get their pieces around towards our king area it's the whole sort of answer process yeah so they bring the knight across and we bring our bishop down we get a bit of a blunder mark there but we didn't want to over egg anything white is out and out winning here look at that gauge bar but it's it's for the opponent to prove that out and out win the idea is about putting pressure towards the king or the king area and that's exactly what they're doing with their pieces that's what probably why it showed that they were in advantageous position um but the knight move was a bit blunderous i don't think we took advantage of it but we took advantage of the pawn so we could grab and then we could grab the knight so then we're in slight advantage there it's almost out and out winning for us bring the queen back we get a bit of a tick for that and then we push on to the knight supporting but also the pawn as well so they had a choice to make and they continued attacking the queen so we attack their queen attacked so we're still in major major advantage here all because of that focus of the king area we're opening up space around their king a lot more than what the opponent is to us i suppose um, but we don't have pieces directly there in front of the king as yet so we can capture they move the king out of the way but their king now is a little bit airy so is ours and the king takes he probably could have brought his rook across couldn't he i don't think it would have made much difference i suppose okay so they brought it across then and we captured keeping it nice and simple straightforward looking to trade down because we have more material and just seeing if there's any big dits but i don't think there was really captured captured and yep all pretty smooth yeah that was a fairly neat game okay good focal point on attacking the king area or defending the king area as well having positive attacks towards the king area but also realizing what the opponent was attempting to do and blocking that off as well